So I actually enjoy making avocados. I like to use them to make guacamole. And sometimes I'll make my own version of like a kind of like a spicy kind of rice. I'll chop up some peppers and onions and different stuff like that and I'll throw it into it. I also like kiwi. Sometimes I'll use them just to eat them regularly or I'll throw them into like a smoothie. I think a good idea for kiwi would probably be like a acai bowl. You know, for, smoothies are so good for you because they're loaded with fruits and vegetables and fiber. And personally, I guess it's just easier to consume like larger amounts once it gets blended and grated. So there's this thing kind of like, I know the food pyramid is familiar, but like this kind of plate of like how much you should get and what you should get of like fruits, grains, vegetables, proteins to kind of keep like a healthy, like balanced diet. So I think you also want to make sure that you're getting um, broccoli. Now, I do think there's like the not the best way to make it, but it tastes so good, right? Is broccoli and cheese. I guess you can kind of go overboard with the butter maybe, or maybe not even the butter. I don't think you can really go overboard with it easily. I think the best thing to do is just to cook it a little less because the more you cook it, I think the more the vitamins go out of it. I was saying that I like to make guacamole. Something I like to put in my guacamole is I like to put onions, um, peppers, tomatoes, cilantro, and lemon juice. That's really good. Now, I've been seeing a lot of things about this carrot dog that Tabitha Brown um, reinvented. I saw some other YouTubers making it. And so I think that's a really cool idea I also see some asparagus. I see peppers. I use peppers in a lot of different things. Now, I also use to tomatoes. You say tomato, I say tomato. Salmon is really good. I've tried a couple different ways of making salmon. I saw these salmon hush puppy dogs. So fried fish is a little bit unhealthier, but it's still fish at the end of the day. I think the best way, personally, a good way is baking it, but I think the best way is to probably like broil it or boil it in some type of like seasoned broth. Salmon isn't has not always been my favorite. I've tried salmon a couple different ways. I've tried salmon patties where they're like kind of made into like a dough almost. It's not supposed to be like bread, but it kind of resembles that because once you fry it, it's very crispy on the outside, like, um, like a fried chicken or something like that. So I've, I've done that. And I see that there's so many different pepper, colors of peppers. And that's 